Swiggly Swoo, how'd you do guys? This is Firehouse Fan Jam and I'm back again, back again sorry, with another episode of Showdown Sessions. I come up against quite a cool team consisting of Mega Metagross, Clefable, Greninja, Conkledur, Chandelier and Gudra. So um, this team's really interesting and to be honest it is going to cause me a bit of trouble. Basically, um, Caesar here can only touch Clefable really, and my team, my opponent, sorry, has a really well balanced team, and he does have a great counter Landers in the Greninja, and also Gujo um, does pretty well against it. So, um, I think a really safe and really nice lead would be to open up the Gengar and Kangaskhan. The only lead that can really counter this on my opponent's behalf would probably be Conkuda, but I'm not too worried about that at all. Um, someone else that I really want to bring is Politoed, because nothing can really touch. Um, like really give super effective damage unless the Gudra has like energy ball if it can even get it so I think I definitely want to bring Politoed here and I'm really tempted to br bring Lander, uh, not Lander sorry Ludicolo or Caesar. So Caesar is actually one of my favorite Pokemon in this team because it's new and it's just been doing really well for me so um, maybe instead of Protect in the future, I because at the moment I'm running Bug Bite, Bullet Punch, Sword Snaps, Protect, I could run something like Knock Off, just like um, Barry Anderson. So, um, would Ludicolo do? Yeah, I think Ludicolo would be a really good uh, Pokemon in the back as well. So I'm just going to tell my opponent good luck. Uh, good luck. Yeah. Um, this episode has been recorded straight after the one I've uploaded um, earlier on today. So, uh, my opponent is very, very um, modest by saying I, he'll need the luck. Um, that was, yeah, so, right, this is really good for me because basically um, he does have Greninja on the field, which I can actually just fake out with Kangaskhan, and then I also can Sludge Bomb the Clefable, although I'm really scared of it um, using Minimize or Cosmic Power, so I'm actually just going to talk to Clefable because Moonblast isn't going to be doing much damage to any of my Pokemon. So my parents, my parents said he'll need it, and then I'll just tell him that he'll be fine. So I do fake it. He does follow me, and I do actually get the taunt as Grinning does flinch. So, so this is really, really good for me. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm really, really, I really want to uh, switch out Kangaskhan in fear of the Greninja um, low kick. So what I can do is go out into my wall, which is Politoed. And then I can actually go for a Sludge Bomb onto Clefable. Or I could just... Nah, Clefable isn't a um, big Pokemon to get rid of right now. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb the Greninja. Yeah, there's nothing wrong in that play at all. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have gone for the Shadow Ball onto Greninja. But it's just in case if I outspeed it. Because he has a number of Pokemon that are weak to it. In Chandelier and Metagross. Um, yeah, in Metagross. But Metagross um, resists Sludge Bomb. Well, it's immune to Sludge Bomb. And yeah, so um, hopefully this goes out well. I really like my opponent's team as well. Um, I like the fact that he's using med Mega Metagross. Sorry, I'm a bit stumbly here. I'm just seeing if my opponent's uh, messaged me back. But I really like his team. And to be honest, Mega Metagross is picking up a lot of popularity. A lot of people seem to run it over Kangaskhan now. It's like in my January prem Premier Challenge I went to. Um, Premier Challenge is the biggest tournaments I've gone to so far. So I haven't actually done that many big VGC tournaments. Um, only one person actually ran Kangaskhan and that is actually one of my best friends. He was the only person to run it and everyone ran Mega Metagross for some reason. I ran Mega Salamence at the time. So hopefully my opponent will um, figure out a strategy soon because we don't want to be waiting. So he does actually do something. Um, he switches up Clefable which, you know, is probably probably quite noticeable as I do actually outspeed. Oh, we slay more. That's bad. As um, I do actually outspeed the Greninja to knock it off my Gengar. So what is what can Greninja's speed be? Because I'm really curious to know. Yeah. Uh, Politoed speed is 90. Concorder. Concorder probably might be slower. So I'm really tempted to. Oh, but if he brings back in, back in the Clefable, as he does, yeah, that's uh, that was a good play on my opponent's behalf. So, what do I want to do here? Basically, Gengar... Um, what I'm going to do here is scold into Clefable and also Sludge Bomb it. Um, do I want to do that? It's just if he does set up something like um, Calm Minds or 
uh, cosmic powers or minimize. I really don't want my opponent to do that. So what I'm going to do is scold the Clefable and also Sludge Bomber, just in hope of get, getting rid of it as soon as possible. Oh, he does protect with it. Good play by my opponent. I was tempted to double up into Concorder, but I, I wasn't sure. So he does actually knock off my Gengar. Really good play on my opponent's behalf. I really like that play. Um, I'm just going to type to him now. Great play, because he is actually being quite nice. Great play. Um, yeah, basically what I want to do here is... Do I want to double up into Concorder now? Hmm. What well, I'll do, I'll squad the Concorder, and then I will taunt the Clefable, because basically, all he, he can't, he can't Mac Punch Gengar, because Mac Punch, because um, Gengar is immune to fighting type. And yeah, so I think I'm alright here. Um, if he gets rid of Gengar, that's fine. All I can do here is actually bring in Ludicolo, or even just um, bring in Kangaskhan. So he does, oh, he decides to Mac Punch. Okay. Okay then, he decides to Mac Punch Gengar, I'm not sure if I was, well it was a misplay on my opponent's behalf, but that's fine, so what I'll do here is Sludge Bomb and Scold into the Conkelder. So hopefully I can get some decent damage off, he isn't Assault Vest meaning that both of these attacks are going to do a monstrous amount of damage, and also my opponent is taking burn damage from the Flame Orb each turn, yeah he has Guts but um, that doesn't change anything. It was quite funny because when I came off my holiday, I wanted to breed my Politoed again, just so I could get a, a different nickname on my Politoed. And actually, my first batch of eggs, I ended up getting a five IV um, Poliwag, and um, I actually left the Everstone on my Politoed because I was breeding this specific one. It's actually five IVs, and I've come into Battle Spot and I've been using it, and I've been wondering why I haven't been getting. Um, Oh, I do take out the Conqueror. Well, I haven't been getting Citrus Recovery. Oh, yeah, so he does take out my um, Gengar, which is nice. Well, for my opponent, of course. So, yeah, and I kept... And that actually lost me one of my games because I needed that Citrus Recovery to be able to survive another Hyper Voice from a Mega Salamence. So my opponent's in a really tricky situation here. I only have one turn of rain left, which is a slight worry. So what I can do here is switch out Kangaskhan, which I'm going to do. And then I think all I need to do here is, is just scold the chandelier, or should I scold the clefable? Um, yeah, I'm gonna scold the clefable because basically what I'll do next turn, since clefable's still under taunt, I'll just fake out chandelier and then scold it with my kangaskhan. Obviously, I'll stay in my normal scrappy form if I actually have scrappy. I hope I have scrappy. If I don't have scrappy, I'm gonna be really annoyed with myself. <laughs> so yeah, I do send in kangaskhan. I do get a skull on Clefable, actually getting the burn as well, it does prop it Citrus Berry, he does actually energy energy ball my Kangaskhan, as he does Icy Wind again, yeah that's fine, if only I had Bishop right now, but nope, I have Scissor, but it's not even in play, um, what I'll do here is just, I'll, I will fake out Chandelier, and then I, I will scold it with my um, Ludicolo, because Clefable has revealed to us so far, Protect, Follow Me, um, Icy Wind, and I guess, as he, um, but, no, and so protect, follow me, icy wind, and maybe moonblast or minimize. I hope it's not minimize, but he is taunted, so that doesn't really matter. So, oh, I mega evolved beforehand. That's a silly play. Oh, no. Is that just lost? Okay, no, I do take I do take out the chandelier. Whew. That got me scared for a second. I thought I lost that game because of that. Right, so Clefable's taunt to swear off. Whew. As I do have Politoed, what I'll do here is that I'll just helping hand Ludicolo and then scold the Clefable. Because, right, yeah, he, he does forfeit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, so that's my video, guys. I hope you like that battle as well. So that's two battles, uh, both one today. And I might actually upload a third. I'm not too sure at the moment, but I might do. So thanks for watching, guys. Go check out my other content. And for now, Panchan people, goodbye.